thank you very much for stopping by today what does a diorama actually cost it's an interesting question i hear collectors ask it quite frequently well today i'm going to dive into all of this and i'm going to show you all of the costs spots that save spots cool things you can do at different price ranges some things to do some things to definitely not do no matter what like starting off what should i put my diorama into uh, first things first you don't ever ever want to put it into a detoff why because a detoff is going to explode on you without you doing anything and at the cost of 129 dollars when a garage rack that will easily hold 550 pounds per shelf at $198, boom, as you can see, significantly much more weight, much more space. That means more things you can put on a shelf versus a detoff where you get one figure per shelf. That is per capita, $129 times four. Most people don't even use the bottom one plus six eight ten months this thing's just gonna explode on you anyways don't ever do a detox the next thing i get asked by people quite frequently how do i get a death star look up in my display well let me tell you dear friend you have a couple different options you have some nice people who make things on ebay as you can see totally everything's backlit he does give you a floor this does not cover a whole lot of space though uh in order to cover your 48 by 24 shelf you will need a total of five of these and then you will have to cut one of them in approximately half and then figure out something with the floor plus as you can see from this image he does not give you a roof so how do you solve that you say well, this is what I'm personally doing myself. I bought four of these. It's gonna be quite fantastic. So taking a look at this, as you can see, the wonderful people over at Jazz Inc. have given us a roof and a back wall and a magnificent looking floor. You can hold multiple figures in each panel and it's gonna be wonderful. Plus this will be out at the later end of this year. Two of these and or one shelf is roughly $1,300. Obviously that is gonna be out of some people's price ranges because they're obsessed with sticking 10,000 figures onto a shelf and not letting you see anything. I personally, I like to let my stuff breathe. So I'm going with this kind of thing. What do you guys think? Feel free to let me know down in the comments below. This is not a bad option to go if uh, you were trying to go there. He's got a nice floor on it. And this is, as you can see, weird listings on Amazon, eBay. Uh, there's another one for 12 scale. And this thing, as you can see right here, is nine and a half by 15. So this would be about 15 inches tall. That does make a little bit of problems. You can also find this guy if you are a DTOF collector. So sorry for you. Um he does these and they are specifically cut so you could buy three for twenty dollars each or whatever you needed to do uh some people just go with this photo background which is okay but i'm personally not necessarily a fan of that i think it a lot of the times they you have to get them at the exact photo like distance for them to look correct and we have more stuff like that for the detoffs. Detoff uh, dioramas typically end up only being pictures, which I guess by default would not be a diorama whatsoever. But once again, they are detoffs that explode the second you touch anything to them. So they can't really hold enough weight. They can barely hold the weight of your figure. They can barely hold the weight of themselves without exploding. If you don't believe me and you're upset right now, you can see videos on YouTube of Detox just exploding on their own. Plus at $129, is it really worth it to buy an exploding shelf and have glass all over the place? Jeopardize the health and safety of your 
friends, your family, your children, your pets? I don't think so. Plus, those meatballs, they kind of suck. You know, like, who needs a bunch of meatballs? You'd rather just go to Hardee's and get some crinkle fries. I think these are uh, these Jazz Ink ones are going to be fantastic, though. These will be out at the tail end of this year. And definitely looking forward to those. Um, if we look at the listing, these are going to be shipping sometime between December and March, depending on which uh, display you are in. If you do have smaller collections, spaces, uh, these are 16, 16 point, like basically 16 inches by 22 inches by 21 inches. And they are 17 pounds. Definitely don't want to put these in a detail. Probably not even the bottom shelf. But I don't think they'll necessarily fit. But should you want to, that is another option. If you want to do other things that are injection molded and they are lighter, we have our wonderful friends over at Galaxy Diorama. They make 6 scale. They make 12 scale. You can get power drives. You can order STL files. Make everything yourself so you can size it in the size that you would like it to be. This is not a bad idea if you're into 3D printing. They have wonderful dioramas. I've been looking at a number of these. You can get the Death Star right here. It builds all the pieces. You can make it to the specifications you wish. And yeah, all sorts of stuff. They've got doors. They've got other doors. They've got cantinas, the power droid mile per hour droid whatever that is i'm gonna be honest i don't even know what that droid is uh you can buy the gatekeeper droid uh this is a life size i believe so yeah I mean, there's lots of cool stuff you can get a moisture evaporator for your farm boy luke should be pretty cool there's lots of cool stuff out there uh you can get rocks and all sorts of other stuff like that so i don't know i mean i guess it just depends and then up at the pricier end you have legacy arts which makes highly crafted things these are going to be for people definitely with either garage racks or some sort of custom shelving and it's going to be fantastic for those people definitely don't want to stick these in a detoff because once again as i stated before that sucker will just explode on you for no reason uh, you got Bestas, he's got Detoff throne base stuff, so I'm assuming that's probably made out of foam so that it's light, so that those things don't explode, and all sorts of other cool stuff. I like Legacy Arts for the level of detail. He is very good at his craft. I like the little barrels, the paint colors, definitely good attention to detail from him. You got a nice little desert diorama right there with the little background. I mean, these like look okay. I'm going to have to do it with the Tuscans because there's just not any other way to get like this kind of background. But I usually try to build things that I don't have to do a photo like that because I'm, I'm not super big on them. I want something like this. Like you look at this and you can drift into like the mode. You can see it. it. The whole picture is there. You can fit some other people coming up the stairs. You put Fennec sitting next to him. Some other people, once we get uh, that C-3PO, you could stick, what's his face? Uh, crumb, salacious crumb. You could stick him up in there with all the other stuff. Just good stuff right there. It's just, uh, yeah. So what do you guys think? Feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Maybe we can get out of here. So, that's some things that we have in the diorama space just to try to help you guys out. You can also go on Etsy, which I love. And they have all sorts of wonderful, fantastic things for us there on Etsy. You can get three walls and then just put some stuff on it. We've got little tables, desks, doors, kitchens, gazebos set up some cool spaces i like to set up spaces too that kind of look like everyday environments and then it helps with the stop motion so i collect in a little bit of a different way than some other people 
this one's my favorite. I believe Bob Dylan bought one of these. It's a bookcase. So then he's got little figures on it. So he's got his collection that has another collection, which I think is hysterical. You got a little turning machine for a drill. That's pretty badass, actually. If uh, this would be not terrible, if you had like a Tony's workshop, that would totally fit in there. Uh, little devil skulls, all sorts of cool stuff. But yeah, I would say anything that you want to find, if you're looking for any sort of accessories to build dioramas or things like that, you can find all of that on Etsy, typically at relatively affordable prices. And for those things that are pricier items, just do it in a couple steps. It doesn't have to all happen at once. Rome was not built in a day, my friend. Oh, soda cans. It's going to be tight. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm definitely a big fan of Etsy. I like to find things on here. Uh, like, you got couches and stuff. Probably grab some of these for uh, the VIP room. And then bodysuit. This would be perfect for a stormtrooper. Or a clone, as listed. Does it come with the body? One six scale clone trooper fabric custom figure. It's Star Wars. I think it. I think this is just the suit. Hand me custom. Includes fabric body suit, not include body figure. Yeah. Okay. So you gotta pay thirty five dollars for the suit and then you still gotta buy a body uh display stand for doc and marty for those of you who are back to the future people it's not terrible it's got a nice little nameplate on it i know some of y'all like that i personally i do not like bases i wish there was a skew that didn't have the bases that i could just buy the shit that's useful you got a base that's nine times out of ten less than flattering destroying the lines of your hard-earned diorama you spent hundreds of dollars to make just messed up with a, a base because nobody wants that so hope you guys have had a good time today just some ideas to give you some things to think about this is aj for the pursuit of awesomeness reminding you never buy a detox and i'll catch you in the next one